Call me culture vulture garbage, those are ignorant words. I kill a vulture, cook the poultry in a pan till it's burnt. See, Marshall, I'm just like you, I'm flipping the bird. Fire scheme! I lost and I'm found. I'm more black than I'm brown. I'm coming home for my crown, and I know when I do that, it's gonna go down. What is it? What is it? Yo, 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 what's going on, gang? What's going on, my Bandolians? What's going on? What's going on? I am your guy, Butters Beauty, aka Ugly Idris. Give myself a round. Hang on a second, a bit too quiet. Let me give myself a round of applause. Let me give my ladies and my gentlemen a round of applause. Yup, 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 yup. We are here today doing another reaction. It's been a while, but we're going back with Tom McDonald. I felt that the last song was fire. I feel like Tom's created his own world. Let's rock out. Let's get into Tom McDonald. Before I begin, if you want to support the show, you can donate to Mr. Dope Williams at gmail.com. Shameless plug. Also, if you want me to react to a song, you want me to dedicate this show to you. You can also make a donation along with your donation. Make sure you let me know what song you want me to react to. It doesn't matter the genre. Doesn't matter what it is. We can react to. They got these videos with young Asian girls eating the most disgusting food I've ever seen before in my life. We can react to that. We can react to two girls, one cup, although they probably won't let me watch that on and well not even probably definitely won't let me watch that on youtube but we can i can react to whatever you want right so if you the thing is right my list is so full and your requests are incredible man and i'm going to get to all of them i'm going to get to all of them. i'm going to i'm going to review and i'm going to react to everything that you guys have asked me to but there aren't enough hours in the day so if you want to jump the line as Big Bro at Rich House says, if you want to jump the line, then feel free to send me a donation along with whatever, whatever you want me to watch. Right now, there's no amount. You donate whatever your heart says. All right. It's all love. We accept all types of love here in the bando. I am Butters Beauty, a.k.a. Ugly Idris, a.k.a. The Face Only A Mother Could Love, a.k.a. Face Beautiful Enough for Radio. And we are getting into man like Tom McDonald, Dear Slim. Love Dear Slim, I thought you might have heard of me maybe Cause lately everywhere I turn someone's comparing us crazy I never would have thought when I was bumping Biggie and Pac That I would buy bleach in a box and become the product of shade But I'm here now Hi, my name is Tom McDonald, people call me controversial I'm the one that counterculture follows Every song I drop's a problem, I offend an awful Okay Now I heard about this around the time that it happened, right? And I've it's weird. All right, so Weird Al Yankovic. I loved Weird Al Yankovic. Weird Al Yankovic growing up. He is like a, I guess like a meme rapper before even memes became popular. But my love, he, I look at him as pop. You know what I'm saying? My love for hip hop wouldn't let me like gimmicks. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just want realness. I just want just the raw, just the grit, just the pain. Do you know what I mean? So when I heard about this guy that had purchased a beat from Eminem and then was speaking about M on the track, I kind of was a bit like, uh, I think I'll just leave that alone. But already I'm looking at this video and I'm seeing from the get-go that man was on a mission. And I'm not sure how M feels about it, how M reacted or how M responded, but the nature of Eminem, if you were ever a fan of Eminem, the only way to show M love is to try and kill him. You know what I mean? You know, I'm a fan of battle rap. And it's actually because of Eminem that I like battle rap. Like he pushed me in that direction. I didn't care about battles before he 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 destroyed the rap Olympics, right? And to, to this day, although it's scripted, right? To this day, the battles on eight mile to me are like, he, he's captivated the most exciting moments in battle rap. It's, it's damn near perfect. Not to mention the last scheme where he kind of takes all of Papa Doc's angles from him. There are real battle rappers that use that. Check, go and check. Bill Collector versus um, Hitman Holla. He did that. He took everything that you could possibly say to insult me. He took it and said it. Um, there's a young lady named Yoshi G. Fire female MC. She's dope. She uses all her insecurities. It's like her weapon. Anything that you could say against me, I'm going to say it first. So you have nothing left. 
right? So, uh, you know, I started rambling. Back to the reaction. Basically, what I'm saying is he came, he was on job. He said, I'm going to fuck some shit up. If I'm, if I'm going to buy this beat, I'm going to cook on this beat. And he's cooking. Got with topics, commenting on race and politics. I'm pretty awesome. Dear Slim, I know we're very different politically. Seems like some of your biggest fans are the victims I'm triggering. They're convinced I don't like you, which ain't consistent with history. I was picked on as a kid and they don't know what Slim did for me. But I'm here now and I fight the system just like you. Was addicted to pills and liquor and quit them just like you. People claim that you hate me, but Marshall, that can't be right, dude. You'd have to hate yourself as well as Marshall. I'm you. Okay. 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 I see you, brother. You're dope. I, un after watching this, very, it kind of makes sense. Probably should have watched it back then. But after watching this, it's hard to, even how the, the pictures, you know, freeze framed right here, right? Well, this is me pointing at you, but right here, right? It, you're looking at a star. I said that in the last video, you're looking at a star. This guy's a star. I can only, the, the, the record deals that must be on the table for this guy, must the numbers must be astronomical because this is ridiculous. This is hard. You don't suck. You don't suck. Here's where usually, right, we would separate, right? Because generally I don't listen to this type of hip hop, right? Got to be some goons in there. Got to be some trapping in there. Got to be some a little bit political, um, just knowledge in there, wisdom. And also the big booty babes. Got to have those, right? Big booty babes. Actually, I'm more of a breast man, to be honest, but still. Right. This this is like almost after the Slim Shady and the Marshall Mathers MP LP style. Now he definitely has the bar structure. It's layered. There's no way it's not there. And as I've always said, I believe that most of these YouTube and internet rappers, they're all Marshall's babies, right? But shout out to this right here. This Jason Get Up is bigging up. Um the Marshall Mathers LP, which in my opinion was, ah, it's hard for me to say, it's always, it's, his second two albums, because his first album wasn't majorly released, Eminem I'm talking about, and he sounded a lot like AZ. It wasn't until he started going to Jersey and messing with um, Young Z, and I want to say the outsiders, right, that he developed this insane bar structure. He's a big fan of, of Tretch as well. But that is the Ryan pattern that I was into. When he started doing this kind of music, he kind of, I kind of, it wasn't really it for me. I want brain damaged. You know what I'm saying? I want um, just the two of us. You know what I'm saying? I want... Um, when bad meets evil, that type of lyrical excellence. That's where it's hard for anyone to say, I'm you. More like you show me the way, but you can't just say, I'm you. You might more be Stan than Marshall because fucking hell, man. I think Marshall Mathers, when it really comes down to putting pen on paper, I think man's better than Shakespeare. I don't think there's too many people born in life that can pen better than Marshall. Now, although you said that and everyone should feel like they're the best, this is dope. And I fully understand why you got the following that you got for going. Anyway, enough talking back to the reaction. <laughs> Dear Slim, I thought that maybe because you paved the way for me, you might relate to weight that Caucasian rappers are carrying. They're constantly comparing us to you. It's embarrassing. Never gaining their approval. It's just hate we're inheriting. But I'm here now. Go ahead and hate it. Don't hurt. Call me culture vulture garbage. Those are ignorant words. I kill a vulture, cook the poultry in a pan till it's burnt. See, Marshall, I'm just like you. I'm flipping the bird. Fire scheme. That was a fire scheme. Culture Vulture, 
flipping the pan, flipping the bird. That was her fire scheme. Dear Slim, I just want to give you your flowers. I spent hours memorizing all of your songs in 2000. You were the reason I screamed at all of my teachers. A teen, I needed your CD on repeat and Shady's face on my t-shirt. But I'm here now. They call me controversial just like- Bro, I was the same way. And imagine, bro, imagine like, I went to school, right, with a bunch of serious fucking people, man. You know what I'm saying? And by the time I was going to school in the States, right, more people started saying things like, people started uttering the words like, he's all right, but he's not real and kind of started moving in the direction of Jay. But listen, Renegade, Fireverse, you know what I'm saying? Me, I was in school, like I knew it. I felt like he killed big. I got a lion in my pocket, I'm lying. I got a nine in my pocket and baby, I'm just dying in the cock. He's ready for war, I'm ready for war. You know what I'm saying? The verse on Missy Elliott's album, um, uh, there's so many. Uh, could be working at Burger King, circling with his windows down and his system up, circling, spitting in your onion rings. Like, um, hi, Slim. Do you like violins? Want me to stick nine inch nails to each one of my eyelids? You know what I'm saying? Uh, just so many things, bro. And I was like, the thing with me, right? And why I think, you know, I could be pretty good at this reaction thing, right? Is although I'm from ends, although I'm from road, although I'm a who, I'm a who, nigga, although I'm one of them, right? I I I love people's hit, which is strange for you know what I'm saying. Most people always say I'm whatever, but I love people here. You understand what I'm saying? Another reason for the mask. I want you lot to love me. You, you see me? And as I said, when my, when my bandoians come around, when I got my Shellys and my Chantels, they'll be in they'll be in Bally's as well. My security, all bellies, will look like a little belly army. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, back to the reaction. Enough talking, back to the reaction. We're both white, both rap, both of our eyes blue. Screw any guy who tries to say you changed and don't like you. Because in my mind, it's still 99. And I'm you. Bro, man's uttering my exact words, bro. In my, in my mind, it's still 99. That's the Marshall who was the sickest, bro. At that point, right, there wasn't an MC in the world, right? And, and, and shout out to Tom McDonald, right? Because this is a reaction to Tom, right? You have taken me down memory lane. Look at me, defensive over the Marshall Mathers LP, challenging, can he, oh, he can't call himself the best ever. He can't compare, compare himself to him. But that is because with your visuals, with your bar structure, you know what I'm saying? With the way that you put this together, you have literally taken me back to being a you on the on 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 the 137 with my book bag headed up to hill listening to Marshall Mathers. Do you know what I'm saying? I remember when Eminem first came to London, he was performing Oh, I don't remember where it was, but he was there with Tim Westwood and it was like really cheap me and my mates were trying to get there. From school, me and my man named, uh, what do we used to call, I don't give man's real name, Daniel, me and Dan's, right? We were trying to go and see it, but just been a big fan of him for so long. And it's amazing, bro. You've taken me back there, man. I cannot lie. You have taken me back there. Definitely about to start fighting, man. That's telling me Tom McDonald is better than Eminem. You get what I'm saying? Because you've taken me back there. You got me back there to the defense. You took me in the room. You're, I'm there with Stan. You get what I'm saying? I remember listening to Stan, right? I remember the first time, Cracking the Marshall Mathers LP, right? And going through the words. That's what we that's what I used to do. I learned that from my big bro, Donald Crunk, right? Put me onto anything hip hop, right? And I'm going through, he used to do it, he used to buy an album, read through the album covers. I used to copy him, you know, play the music, skip to hear every song and read through to see who the features are and skip to the best, the best producers. You guys will never experience that, right? And I remember going to Stan, I think it to myself. That's the pencil writing on the paper. If you go back and you listen to Stan and pay attention to detail, they've paid so much attention to detail that as M is spitting, the pencil is, you can hear the pencil in the background writing on the paper. And I appreciate you for taking me back there, bro. I really wasn't expecting that. I'm going to be honest, bro. You know, when I first saw um, Fuck Hip Hop, which I'll do a reaction to a little bit later on because we're going to do a couple today, right? When I first saw Fuck Hip Hop, I just was like, oh man, this guy just completely opposes 
everything that I stand for visually. You know what I'm saying? That's what happens when you judge a book by its cover because you go a few years down the line and he actually stands for the direction that I'm trying to move in. So, you know, life is ironic sometimes, but let's let this roll out. Uh, Tom McDonald, you're cooking, brother. I like this. In fact, let's come back a little bit more because I've been doing a little bit talking. Let's come back because it was all fire anyway. Fire. Fire. Hours memorizing all of your songs in 2000 You were the reason I screamed it All of my teachers a teen I needed your CD on repeat And Shady's face on my t-shirt But I'm here now They call me controversial just like you We're both white, both rap, both of our eyes blue Screw any guy who tries to say you changed and don't like you Cause in my mind it's still 99 And, and I'm, I'm you Marshall, remember back when You became Eminem You changed the world with a pen Well now I'm just like you You love me, you hate me, you think I'm crazy. crazy. Dropped a hundred grand to get a beat from Shady. I really hope when I bought it, he wasn't angry. And right there, right? That's putting your fucking money where your mouth is. Because just because you bought a beat from... This could have been horrible. A lot of people don't understand, right? Just because you have an idea and you turn the camera on doesn't mean it has to work, Right? You, you, this could have been a fucking mess. Think about what man's saying. I'm going to go and spend 100 grand on, a, on an Eminem song. I am going to not not come for him. It, it seemed like that in the beginning, but this to me seems like a paying homage record, right? But who knows? Sometimes people find it offensive. Like you've, 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 you've bought my beat and now you're mentioning me on the music and it's kind of a big market employee. Some people may find it offensive. It worked. Your lady did a great job. You did a great, I mean, great is not a word for how you pen this together because you're coming for the, the best pen ever. Now, I don't think that Eminem is the best rapper ever, but in my opinion, the best pen ever, which is very important to me, if you know this show and you know anything about Butters Beauty, Butters Beauty the best pen ever in hip hop is Eminem. There's nothing to argue about. It's Eminem. When it comes to the word inside of the word, that's outside of the word, that's underneath the word, that's behind the word, that's around the word, from the other word rhyming with the word that was in front of that word that was behind that word, bruv. M is the coldest. M is the coldest. So shout out Tom McDonald for paying homage to who he thinks is dope. That's the problem with hip hop nowadays. You know, um, I forget the young man's name, Little Pump, come out and he thinks that he should diss J. Cole. I saw Token the other day dissing J. Cole. You know, when, when, when I was coming up in the game to diss someone, you needed to be on a level. At least to be, my whole, if, if, if I dissed you, it was because I had a problem with something you said. If, 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 if I gained something from the beef that was dope, but the initial reason for me saying something to you was, you know, Snoop came to New York and did New York, New York, big city of your dreams. Mob Deep didn't like that. So they had, they had a response for that. You know, Tupac was allegedly um, 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 with Biggie's wife. Biggie didn't like that. So he made, um, was it Who Shot You? I think it was, it was a deep song he made, but he said it wasn't for him. Uh, initially, Pac feels like Biggie tried to shoot him. So he made um, Hit Him Up, even though I don't believe that. I think that was more marketing. But still, the point that I'm trying to make is usually, right, when I set the, a beef with someone, it isn't just for for um, for clout. It's for us. It's like, bro, this is what we do. Let's clash. I want to see if you're as fire as I am. Take over, Jay-Z and Nas. Jay-Z didn't have to call Nas out. He was on a different level. In fact, that battle kind of put life back into Nas. You get what I'm saying? But Jay-Z's just like, nah, they're saying that this guy is the dopest pen. I want war. If you've ever seen Akira, which is one of the most fire anime movies ever, right? Tetsu's like, I want smoke with Akira. I don't care. Who's the firest out there? 
I don't care if he's dead. Get those little jars together. You lot do your seance and say, say your spells. I want smoke with him. But it's changed. You know, it's about clout. But look, that was a lot of talking. You know I mean, I hope I didn't lose you lot back to the reaction. But I really had to tell him that he changed me The truth of the matter is Without you Marshall Mathers I would have committed suicide Before I was a rapper You showed me that I could do it I didn't need to be black Or I know it's stupid But I just had to do my best To say thank you Marshall remember back when You became Eminem You changed the world with a pen Well now I'm just like you I don't give a what Fire. Saying what I want With my fingers up Everybody triggered And they think I suck But I don't give a Fire. Fire. It looks a bit like Dappy there. Fire. Fire hard. I see why. Yeah, I see why fully. I get it. I understand fully what the fuss about Tom McDonald is. Um, and I'll be doing some more reactions to Tom. Man is dope. Um, he's a wave star. You know, when you can get a group of people to rock with you, you know what I'm saying? The world that you've created. Um, Wiz Khalifa was, is a prime example. You know, um, when he created Taylor Gang, it really made me understand because for me, it was all about the most talented rapper should be the best in the world. Now, we're talking about M, so, you know, let's get into it. I saw an interview with Andrew Schultz, right? And he was, he had a very interesting outlook on this whole M thing. And he was saying that, I feel like Eminem feels like he was the best in the world or people loved him so much because he was so lyrical. I think he's wrong, says Andrew Schultz. I feel like we loved him because he represented an emotion. He represented the youth. We were all tired of hearing Christina Aguilera and um, and Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears. We'd had enough. And he represented that. You know what I mean? He, he would say things that people were scared to say. He would come for people that people were scared to come for. And I think it's more the emotion that we fell in love with. Now, I feel like Tom isn't as lyrical as M. And that's not, a, that's not a slight to Tom. No one born ever in our lifetime probably will be as lyrical as M. But when it comes to the other part, he's got that down. Maybe as much as M, maybe more than M. Do you know what I'm saying? When it comes to the energy, when it comes to... The emotion that Mr. Schultz was speaking of, the, the, ah, oh, it's so hard for me to explain, but like the, 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 the ambiance, right, of Tom McDonaldness is something that vibrates with his fans. And that is more important than lyricism. That's damn near more important than a beat. In, in, in times, you'll hear artists that you don't understand or have any respect for, and you're like, how does this guy have. Six billion followers because the connection is deep. It's more of a soul tie than, oh, that was a hard bar. That was lyrically, you know, impressive. You get what I'm saying? Anyhow, this is Butter's Beauty. That's another episode of Britain the Bando. Tom McDonald's cooking again, man. I like this guy. Very talented artist, man. I'm interested to see a little bit more. We will definitely get into a little bit more. I am Butter's Beauty. This is Britain the Bando. Remember, if you don't feel like donating to the cause, Gotta keep the lights on in here somehow. My PayPal is Mr. Dope Williams at gmail.com. Feel free.